Hello so again, this is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio in the gallery. And I am using Arteza colors today. My favorite of this pearls pack. Eight metallic colors, water-based, heavy body, glossy finish. I love the gold. And the gold is called gold. Just gold. <laughs> that makes it easy. There are a lot of colors in there that I love. Um, the gold is my favorite. So I just got these. And these are Vibrant Essentials, Non-Toxic, Ideal for Crafts. And that purple right here is, I believe, the Pearl Royal Purple. And I ran out of bottles, so I had to pick one. And that's the one I picked. And there it is in its original container. So I also had some Arteza from before. And this is a Phalo, Phalo Green. And I have added some Iridescent Pearl Medium into it. I have all my other colors over here that I'm going to use and a lot of these are iridescents and this that's my purple that purple dried really well matter of fact all of these I just tried them for the first time the other day the first couple paintings I did and uh, and even in, in spite of the fact that I used um, two ounces of paint to three ounces of pouring medium in these iridescents they still dried really well and I really liked how they dried. So, let me keep moving on. I want to use a container and put some white, regular white paint in there. I have some Arteza paint from a long time ago, like a year or more, and it is in these containers here, and I just want to take some of it, and I don't know how it's gonna be, but I figure it might be safer if I add it to some white, because I want to put a sky and I need some light colors, light blue, in fact. So I don't know if I want to just fill that up. Because these seem very loose to me, but they're not filamenty. They haven't really broken down to a point where they're not usable, in my opinion. They seem quite usable. So that's just me mixing a light blue. And I suppose if I want it darker, I'll put some more color in there and if I want it lighter I'll put some more white in there and I'll keep that on standby move this out of the way and that bring in my 16 by 20 inch canvas and I'm thinking about doing a skyscape and so I'm gonna grab at this point another container and put some of that blue right in there And maybe just a little more white and some of that purple which is a metallic as I think I mentioned and I made these yesterday I absolutely love this I don't think it's neon but it's a it's a bright plum and it's awesome it reminds me very much of that other color that I use I've got some color shifting iridescent blue also and I think what I'm going to do pour a little bit more of that in there is use those colors for my sky and hope I have enough so I'm going to try and have maybe not the thickest layer but still a layer thick enough to move paint when I flow it this is my OXO Amla turning spatula Best paint spreading tool I know of. It's available on the Amazon link. And the Amazon link is on the link tree, which is directly under the video. Somewhere. Somewhere close. <laughs> on that link tree, you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, my, my Sachi art, my website, and Facebook groups. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is for students. Should you happen to be interested, So I'm almost ready and when I put this down I think I'm going to probably give myself some permission to put some more paint on right underneath it and I'm going to pour it from a height I could actually funnel pour this pretty easily but I think I'm going to pour it from a height right over that And I might swipe it in. It depends on how it looks. You know what? I've got a lot of white in the bottom. 
I might even spiral some clouds out in this if it works out well. We'll see. That seems like a lot of paint, which to me means grabbing a little saucer from Michael's and getting ready to pour something into it. Maybe scrape it right off with my spatula and then use it again. So I do need an edge catcher and I have one handy, I'm sure of it. It's just whether it's long enough or not. And it'll be long enough for right now. They start out as paint catchers. So I really want to spread that as far and wide as possible and it doesn't seem like there's nearly enough paint in there to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this blue and add a whole lot more white to it. Wipe off my spatula. And I'm going to continue to do that as I need to because I really didn't give myself enough paint. Do it again. Just mix it up. Close is close enough. I'll probably scrape that out with a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula and use all the rest of it. Because really having enough key having enough paint is key to flowing paint. <laughs> So long as I have a few colored patterns in there, I'll probably be pretty happy. Happier than I am with the window light not shining. I have another light and it's not, uh, doesn't seem to be working. Yeah, I'm okay with the subtle patterns. And I'm not hard holding that edge catcher too awful hard, but I am going to let the paint pool down there as long as I can possibly manage to be patient and let it happen. Then I'm going to move it down a little bit and let it flow and scrape it right back on. I had some wicked zigzags the other day, some very intense ones, so I'm not really looking for zigzags as much as I was. I am thinking that it's not going to hurt anything just to keep using my white. I might actually get what I need more readily from adding the white I want now before I get all the way across and use whatever flows up to the top and move it over. I think it's going to be beautiful actually. I hope I don't lose all of my purple but I think I'll still wind up with some stripes that I like. So I've got all that paint pooled. It's taken me a while to make this sky, but hopefully it'll be worth it. You know what? I can definitely take the OXO omelet drink spatula and all of that paint. It's mixing beautifully right on there and use it also. So there's basically no waste. Not yet anyway. I see that rather large thing. It looks like a bubble. And it is. I want something else. And I guess I'm just going to give myself permission to do it. I guess that's what happens when I'm using little tiny cups I'm not used to using as I don't get it right. But I refuse to give up easily. And I'm just going to mix my paints together with my spatula briefly. Can't make mud if there's no muddy colors. Let's see if I can bring this right back over here again. Got a storm front down at the bottom of my sky. I kind of want to bring that over there, but I hate to deny you the view. It still take too long. Wow, I'm really not quite frustrated, but I'm a little surprised. My paint pouring recipe is underneath 
the video description underneath the video duh, yeah once I get this into a puddle I expect to move it all down and pour it back and I could just scrape it off the edge catcher and put it back in the painting too which is a possibility I'm going to rock that to cover that edge I might even move it a little bit there we go and I definitely still have some paint. Yeah, that's pretty. And what did I see in there? Something that doesn't belong? Something from before. That's what I get. I, sometimes I use my edge catchers too much. So here's that. Other paint. Paint will flow to paint. I'm going to just dip and dab the end of my spatula in there. And then whatever I get off of this, completely beautiful sky, I will put down below. I should pull that over so you have a better view. I want to put it on the other side. I'm going to this time, instead of using my finger, I'm just going to use my spatula. Put my edge catcher down. Make sure I'm covered. See a little canvas showing up at the top. Nothing my finger can't cure. Come on, off you come. I do like a complicated sky, even if the colors are a little bit um, muted. So I'm going to flow that paint down and I'm going to flow it across and then up and then down to try and meld. Whoop, I got my head in there. I never did find my tweezers. I don't know what that was. And I did say I was entirely possible, that it was possible I was going to spiral this out. And I might do that right now with a bamboo skewer and a paintball on its end. And if I don't like them, I will use my straw meld them, but they're really good at camouflaging those little zigzags and, and lumps that don't behave in the pattern. And you don't need a ton of them. It doesn't need to all be done. Just some are okay. I really want some purple up there. You know what? I can use some purple over here. I can always blow it right in if I want, but I want some some purple in a few places I don't have it. And I think for that, if I can find a straw, I will use it. Guys often have different textures. And for me that looks very natural. And I should show you guys that before I use a torch really quickly and try and looks like there's gonna be a part two. It was all sky. So I torched to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I should tell you guys I do sell my artwork. You can use my email address, it's right below the link tree. EASPB gallery at gmail.com 
My Amazon link is on the link tree, and if you shop there, it's at no edit cost to you, and it helps me out eventually. But enough of you shop there. So I really appreciate you guys sharing my videos very much. I may still try and get the bottom half of this done. I'm really, 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 really enamored in the sky, so I'm all good with that. If I see any of these little trails, I'm probably going to want to get rid of them. I love that random shape down there. Maybe I shouldn't work upside down. That's very brazen of me. So I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you. I really appreciate it when you give me a thumbs up. And your comments keep my morale boosted very nicely. Thank you so much. And sharing my videos is the biggest favor you can give me outside of watching them longer and watching them when the, when the notifications come out. Love those little, that little pink area. I could probably put a lot more in there, but I think it's kind of important right now to me to be a little subtle. Especially when I keep seeing other things I want to change. So I just call this one All About the Sky. See what else I've got in the. If I want a real spiral, when I stop spiraling with the skewer, I just lift from the center. It doesn't work in, in one color. You need another color nearby for it to work. So that gives me two minutes to tell you guys whatever I want to tell you, or to put some paint in the bottom of this. And I kind of want to use the same colors with some gold and maybe some copper too. I think also I'm going to add some of my own black and some of this phthalo green which is looking extremely thick and might be a problem. And then I will just do it again right in place. And whatever I get off of there, I will probably scoop up and put right back on again. Even with the white. Looks like we're making something happen over here I wasn't expecting, but that's okay. So that's covered, and I am going to turn that to you in case I lose time. I, don't, I think I can actually manage to do this if I get it up on the turntable again. I don't want to stick a white coated finger in there. I can touch up things afterwards. And I did really like that this phthalo green, but I think I'm definitely going to be adding a whole bunch of pouring mixture. My recipe is below the video. So that's that. And this is this. I've got one minute left to tell you guys whatever I forgot to tell you, which is I have over 2,000 videos. Oh, excuse me. I have over 1,500 videos. I don't even know where that came from. <laughs> that was very strange. All right. Well, someday I'll have over 2,000 videos, and then we'll see if I'm still here or not at that point. Okay. I like those little peaks, and I don't mind anything being different over on this other side. I'm going to let that tip up. Maybe swallow those clouds if necessary. And what I'll do is I'll take off my residuals from the area that I'm working on right now. Gosh, I hope I'm going to be able to show you guys something. Well, it'll be on the thumbnail. You'll see it. Either that or right now. I'll just say, I love you guys. I hope you come again. Check the community board for tomorrow's video. Check Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group. And uh, I'm going to add the paint from my edge catcher right back in. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Check out my books because I can. And Unlimited Possibilities, they're on the Amazon link. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Saying, I love you guys. Come again. Bye for now.
Priscilla out. Maybe I should try and zoom in.